Hey, everybody, and welcome to Danica Marie and our dope discussions. Okay, so today we are going to be talking about three reasons why women leave good men. Okay, now I know this sounds crazy. You know, what would possess a woman to leave behind a quality man, a man that treats her well, a man that is a good guy? What would possess a woman to do this? Well, I'm going to tell you. Okay, but before we get into it, you guys, y'all like the video, share the video, subscribe, and let's get into the first reason on our list. Now, the first reason that we have on our list is the obvious, right? And unfortunately, the obvious is she finds him to be boring, okay? He's boring to her. Good guys, they're too predictable um they're too structured they're too unproblematic and a lot of females unfortunately find excitement in drama okay so when you are a good man a lot of females can box you out and box you in to this category of just being somebody that's boring i don't like a man to where again that's no drama there's no excessive arguing and fighting, going back and forth. Something toxic to keep me on my toes and keep me engaged. And I really hate that, okay? Now, we always highlight the fact that when it comes to a lot of females today, they, they really love to engage and interact with guys that will bring them a lot of anxiety, a lot of heartache, a lot of pain. Uh, a lot of drama, again, toxicity, they they find joy in that. They find that to make them to be more alive, more alert when a man is keeping them on their toes in the most toxic of ways, right? So when you're a good man, you're not bringing drama to me. You're not making me feel uneasy. You know, as a matter of fact, I feel safe. Isn't that crazy, you guys? Now, it is in our nature as women to look for stability and security, right? But what do I keep telling y'all on my platform? We're dealing with females today that are GMO, genetically modified modern day females. They are not in their natural organic states of what it is to be a woman, right? So women, we're supposed to look for stability and security. But a lot of these women of today, they're looking for, you know, those shaky foundations because those shaky foundations, once again, keep me on my toes. They keep me alert, right? I need to feel like at any given time, this stuff can come collapsing and crashing down. And with the good man, again, you're safe, which equates to boring to a lot of these females. And I really hate that because a lot of times we don't realize that we are creating the very circumstances that are holding us back, that are having us to crumble and fall apart due to us just being females that thrive and survive off of drama, right? We are creating these circumstances. We are placing ourselves in, into these positions, these unfortunate positions at that. We are the ones that are entertaining the, the most down and dirty, corrupt individuals. Like, we're, we're doing that. We're purposefully placing ourselves into harm's way. All because we feel like drama is enticing. Drama is intriguing. Drama is fun. And so what a lot of good men will find today, especially, unfortunately, is that when it comes to a lot of these females, they don't want to be bothered with them because he's born to them, right? And I know a lot of you guys can't relate to that. You're with a girl or you're with a woman, I should say, or female, and everything seems to be going good. Again, you, you embody all of these traits and characteristics that a lot of women will swear up and down they are looking for, right? You're stable, you're self-sufficient, um, you're a provider, you're a great leader, a great teacher, a protector. Like you're, you're embodying all of those traits, those great traits that women are looking for. And yet you find yourselves 
in these situations to where women are pretty much playing into the left. Leave you in the dust and then you turn around and you see her with the next guy that is not even a fraction of the type of man that you are. And that's because when it comes to him, his instability is fun. His drama is exciting. And you, sir, you're good and safe. And so therefore, it's a no. Right? And then they come running back later once they realize they've messed up and their lines are in shambles and everything is falling apart and crumbling and tumbling down. Then they recognize their faults and flaws. But by that time, it's too late. A lot of you guys um, that are good men, you're already settled down with the next woman that appreciated and respected your value. Uh, or you just don't want to be bothered with her. Or you're perfectly fine and content with, you know, being by yourself and maybe just entertaining females here and there. And even still, you're not trying to entertain her because she already showed what type of woman that she was. Right. But that is a reason why women leave a good man. They will leave a good man because they deem him to be somebody that is boring. All right, you guys, let's move ahead along to the second thing on our list as far as a reason why women leave a good man. And the second thing on our list is she feels inadequate, okay? Now, what do we mean by this? I'll tell you, okay? Now, y'all already know your little big sister ain't never lied to you, right? Right. So, with that being said, you guys are also running into this situation where you're too good for the females that are available to you or the females that you entertain and they know it they know that they don't measure up to your caliber of man they cannot deliver and reflect back to you what you need right you need a woman that is going to be heavy in her divine feminine you need a woman that is going to be able to be properly led and she knows how to take directions and orders she knows how to uphold her end of the bargain she knows how to be a great assistant she knows that she needs to be the type of woman that is a, a wise woman a productive woman and what do we mean by a productive woman? Well, what we mean by this is she needs to be able to carry her weight, not just dump it all on you and look for you to take care of every little thing for her. Are you a provider? Yes. Are you a protector? Yes. Are you a leader? Yes. But at the end of the day, you do not need a woman that is dead weight. She needs to be able to handle whatever task that you lay upon her and a lot of these females they, they just can't and even if they want to they're not able to carry out whatever necessary duties and responsibilities that you would see fit for them at a sufficient rate if you will like they're not able to really um deliver in a way to where it's like meeting your standards it's very subpar. It's very low budget, low value. And since they feel that and they know that they cannot really balance you out in that way, they'll just bow out gracefully. So in so many words, not only does she feel inadequate, but she feels like she's not on your level. And so she can become intimidated by the way that you're able to be so productive you know she's not able to operate at the level that you need her to operate at and so again like she just feels like she's not on your level whatsoever so why am i here i might as well leave because you're exposing uh my inadequacies you're exposing the fact that i'm just not up to par i got a lot of work to do you know, and so that is a reason why a woman could also leave a good man. You're just too good. And I don't feel my best around you. Now, this is unfortunate that a lot of females feel this way because when it comes to a good man that is 
on his P's and Q's that is operating at the optimal level, like that guy is supposed to inspire a woman. He's supposed to make her want to strive to be the best version of herself. But what I said earlier, a lot of us are GMO, genetically modified modern day females. We're not in our natural organic states. So uh, in situations where a man is supposed to be inspiring us and encouraging us and making us want to strive for greatness, we can shy away from him. I feel insecure. I feel intimidated. I feel inadequate. I, I just, I would rather just bow out. But that is also a reason why women leave a good man. You expose her faults and flaws and her shortcomings and how much work she needs to do on herself. All right, you guys, let's move ahead along to the last and final thing on our list. And before we move ahead along to the last and final thing on our list, I need you guys to take this time out right now to like the video, share the video, and subscribe, okay? This is some real talk coming from your little big sis, and I'm just helping you out, right? I'm helping you out uh, as a woman, helping you guys to be able to scope things out that we do, that we feel, that we are, so that you guys will be able to maneuver uh, better when it comes to dealing with women because my ultimate goal is to have us as men and women be able to have healthy thriving successful relationships and what better way to help us to achieve that goal than to expose what a lot of these females are on okay so y'all like the video share the video and subscribe and ladies y'all know i'm telling the truth too so you like the video as well okay now again you guys the last and final thing that we have on our list as far as a reason why women leave a good man is because she wants freedom with maintained perks. Let that marinate, let that soak in, and let me explain. Because a lot of y'all may be lost. Like, what? She wants freedom with maintained perks? And so that's why she would leave a good man? Yes. Let's break it down. Okay, let's break it down. So some of you out there may have been married, right? You may have been married in a great thriving marriage and relationship. You took great care of your home. You, you took great care of your woman. You busted your ass to make, make things happen, right? But still, that woman left you. And you were a good man. Why did she leave you? Well, she left you because she knew that by leaving you, she would still be able to have the necessary benefits and perks that go along with being with the man without having to answer to the man, without having to cater to the man, submit to the man, be under the leadership and the guidance of the man. That's why a lot of females get divorced. They'll scope out a good quality man that has a lot going on for himself, play a role for a good little minute, and then leave and take half of what he has, all of what he has, whatever, just so that she can have the, the freedom of doing whatever the hell that she wants to do without having to answer to you in the process. So that, all, that also is a element to uh her wanting freedom and maintaining her perks i get to separate myself from this relationship while still having the perks and benefits of being in that relationship i hope y'all follow me with that put a three in the chat if you understand your little big sis okay put a three in the chat if you get it all right so that's one element of the conversation now, let's say that you're not married. Let's say that you're not married, but you are a good man. Well, a lot of females will scope out the fact that you are a good man and they'll play on your good nature. So, yeah, we're not married. We, we never were married. I'm not divorcing you and taking half and still getting the, the perks and benefits that way. But I understand that you are a guy that... uh 
really cares about me or really cares about women. I understand that you are somebody that would give your last to individuals, even if they don't deserve it. Again, I, I'm scoping out what type of man that you are. You are a great man to where you, you are very loving, very caring, very forgiving, very accepting. And so I'll play on that. I'll say, you know what? I, I just wasn't ready to be in a relationship. I just feel like you were just such a great guy and I don't want to waste your time. I'm just not ready. So I don't think that we should progress forward. But yes, can we still be friends? AKA, can I still be able to use you? Can I still be able to call you up when I need something? No, I, I don't want to be with you, but I still want all the, the access to you. I still want all the person benefits that go along with being with you. That's what they're doing as well. They see what type of guy that you are. They see your personality. They see the way that you maneuver and conduct yourself in life. And it's like, okay, well, since he's that type of guy, well, I can still have access to him without having to be in a relationship with him. That's that freedom. Right? So the last and final thing that we have on our list is she wants freedom with maintained perks. What better way to do that than to get myself out of this relationship and still have access to this guy? Whether that be by way of divorcing him and taking things or just playing on his good nature. And I know a lot of you guys maybe in the past could really relate to that. To where it, it was like, you know what? It didn't work out with us, but I still care about her. And so, yeah, I'll still do these things for her and I'll still do that for her. Be careful with that, guys, because a lot of females are finessing in that way. They want they don't want to be exclusive, but they want exclusive treatment. They don't want to be in a relationship, but they want you to be their boyfriend. They want you to treat them like they're your wife. Be careful with that. A lot of these females will waste your damn time while giving everything to the next guy. And before you know it, you feel used. You feel a, a certain type of way as it pertains to women in general, all because you were giving your all to a female that was not your woman, that did not care about you. So just, just be careful with your access. All right. But I love y'all. I support y'all. I respect y'all. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts and feelings down below. Also, let me know some reasons why women leave good men. You know, I, I would love to hear y'all feedback on that. Also, do you agree? Do you disagree? Can you relate? Let me know which ones you can relate to. All right. Or if not all of them, but I'll see you on the next dope discussion. Much love and peace.